Hi, this is Tony Exum Jr. and you're watching Elements of Jazz TV. Elements of Jazz, your visual jazz experience. We are at Spagatini's in Seal Beach, California, the West Coast. I'm loving it. This is good. Um, playing here is huge. This is a spot that everybody wants to play. This is an internationally known venue. To be here is an honor as a solo artist. Complete honor. Yeah, some great musicians. I mean, and this is the first time I played with a couple of us, with a bass player, KT. Tyler, who used to play with Paul Taylor, plays with Steve Oliver. Uh, my keyboard player, Patrick Cooper, is from the East Coast. Great musician. My music director, Terrell Martin, has played with everybody at Who's Who and Smooth Jazz, and he's one of my best friends. And Kerry Marshall plays with like Dwell A and PJ Morton and Jill Scott and people like that. So I had an all star band up here tonight. Mr. Kerry Marshall get busy on this one. It's another song from the CD. This is called Movement. <laughs> born in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Um, the way it affected me musically is my uncle was in the Fort Carson Army Band. And that's where I learned everything that I know now. I watched him growing up. And there was a lot of musicians in Colorado Springs, especially Army musicians. And I used to go see him play free shows. And he would dazzle the crowd. And I said one day, I'm going to be like him. And he, he passed away about uh, 10 years ago, but he gave me everything that I know to get me started. So that's. Uh, it's a great, it's a great town. There's a lot of talent in Colorado. A lot of people don't know that. My uncle's name is Larry Francis Jr. I was like three when I started getting into music, three and four. I was, let me tell you, I was like a P-Funk fan as a little kid. I, could, I knew all the words, all the Bootsy stuff. I used to read the little comic books they have on the album covers. I knew the slang, you know. Um, I was fascinated with music. Him and the Jacksons, and, and I was cool as a little kid. And then I started listening to Grandmaster Flash, <laughs> um, New Edition and all those guys. And um, I was 11 when I started playing the saxophone. It wasn't my first choice, but it was my first instrument. I could have been a drummer. It was sax or drums based on what the middle school band needed. And it just so happened that they had too many drummers. <laughs> so that's how I became a saxophone player. Mon is a great school, um, Denver University, and I got in that school at the last minute. I auditioned like the right before summer vacation, 
I wasn't sure where I was going to go. And I really wanted to go there. I heard so much about it. And me and my mom just prayed about it. And I went and auditioned. And they said, you know what? You're talented. You're going to grow. We want you here. So they went out of their way to find me scholarship money and financial aid at the last minute. When everybody else was getting their dorm room partners, I was doing financial aid paperwork. Uh, a lot of guys there were into just jazz. And my professor said, you know, Tony, if you're going to make a living at this and do it full time, you better learn everything. Top 40, country, whatever it is to take to pay the bills, because you don't know when you're going to get that first big break. And I did that. So uh, I'm thankful to DU for making the musician I am now. was a great band. The one thing I liked about that band is we were kind of like a, I would say like gumbo, with musically. Like a funk side, blues side, rock and roll, you know, a little bit of the world music. Um, the leader of the band was a guitarist and an English major, so his knack for words and lyrics were just off the chain. For the first album, I was the only horn player, so I learned how to be that one horn guy, how to make the horn work. And then we had a section on the second album, so I learned even further how to be part of a horn section. So that was my biggest experience. Um, and I kind of brought the R&B you know, vibe uh, and jazzier vibe to the band. That was my influence to them. So great band and we have a new album coming out. So I got back with them in 2010 to record two songs. So that's coming out soon. Um, and one of the songs, I have to say this, was dedicated to my daughter. Uh, when she was born, he was in France and he wrote a song because he liked her name. So there's a song on there called Layla Marie Marie. Uh, your song is like a melody. Your name is like a melody, and I recorded um, my sax on it, so I can't wait for you guys to hear that. That's going to be awesome. <laughs> CD is called The One. I'm very proud of it. Uh, 
I got some all-stars on the album, Marcus Sanderson, Nicholas Cole, Julian Vaughn did some production. Um, my drummer Terrell Martin did a lot of the production on it. And uh, it's really a, a labor of love. We, we cried, sweat and, sweat and bled for that album. We were like, this album has to be the one. That's why we got the title. This album has to be the one. This is going to change your career. And also, if you look at the song titles, I was thinking about falling in love <laughs> or being in love. And the titles <laughs> kind of lent itself to that concept. So it's also, it's also about the journey of finding the one. I really love it. It's uh, Tim Bowman's on the album. Um, and I'm very proud of it. It's my best work yet. On my website, TonyExumJuniorOnline.com. You can order it there. CD Baby, Amazon, Napster. Uh, iTunes um, and you can also find me on Facebook all the time uh, Twitter M-I-S-T-R-E-X-U-M-J-R that's my name Mr. Exum Jr. please follow me um, I'm on Reverb Nation I'm on LinkedIn so you can just Google me and I'm all over the place I like to reach out to people and meet fans and meet new musicians and make connections so I'm always an inbox away and I always answer my fans back and, and chat with them and, and uh, get to know them what y'all think about the band they hot? So we're going to get into this new album. Yes. How many of y'all heard the new album? I just want to let everybody know how thankful I am. Being an independent artist is very difficult. And you don't know how it's going to work out, when it's going to work out, where your career, your musical journey is going to take you. But because of you all, I'm here at Spagatini's and I've become a national artist in a couple of years. So I have to give everybody a heartfelt thanks from the bottom of my heart for all the Facebook messages, all the Twitter following, buying the CD, posting my videos, posting my crazy, uh, status messages sometimes um, and um, just making me feel really special and feeling like I'm one of them you know and because all the guys you guys support I look up to them you know your Marcus Andersons your Max Phillips Eric Darius you know your Brian Lanier's your, your uh, Joaquin Joyner's all my peers those guys inspire me and you guys make me feel like I'm one of them and now I realize that I am so because of you I'm the artist I am today so let me give everybody a heartfelt thank you from TE